21st century cities have so many opportunities for stress creation. London has two times the stress creation opportunities other cities have. We all want to lead fulfilled lives and reach our goals here. The city is your biggest enemy. If something doesn't work out, it's never your fault. Believe me. So don't be sad about it. If you miss your bus on your way to work, it doesn't matter. Just go home and relax. It's not worth it. Tomorrow's another day. You are often forced to find alternatives for all your plans. Then you're forced to do things a lazy and unethical person would do. God, I hate it when that happens. What you need to do is find a relief for all that stress you've been imposed upon. Luckily, there are so many different forms of stress relief. But sometimes, life's too shit. So you need to up the dosage. It's a fireplace. I thought you were getting yourself fixed, but clearly this is just another fix for you. Do you want me to freeze to death? We're in the middle of a giant puddle of water. Everyone is safe. Apart from that, nice place. I've got to say I'm a little bit jealous. I can't stand living with mum anymore. She's just been smothering me the whole time. You should consider life aboard when you leave. It's got everything I need here. Bed, sofa, kitchen, and a view. Where is the bed? Right here. Well, that's very tiny. No, it's not. This port's a dream, no doubt. Couldn't you have called? No. Do you find an alternative yet? Not yet, uh, but... It's fine, I've got one. Do you know how freezing it is at night in here? I've had to experience it firsthand. Well, maybe the cold will start running your brain juices. Maybe. Hey, can I store some stuff at your place? Like what? Just a few bits and bobs. Uh, I still haven't figured out the storage space. Um, and I've got a date tonight, so everything has to look tidy. What, like a real date or creepy app date? Yes, a real date. Okay, but only small bits, nothing large. Thank you. Do you still got the key? 
Yeah. <laughs> You can take your raincoat off. Oh, it's a bit chilly. <sighs> wow, this boat is too cute. <laughs> yeah. So, what does a person who lives on a boat like this do? Well, I have to clean up my toilets every couple of days. I can only shower once a week. And apart from that, there isn't much I can do really as I don't have any internet. I meant for a living. I don't know why, but when you texted that you lived on a houseboat, I pictured that you owned a little indie cinema that only puts on white and black films. <laughs> no. <laughs> so where did you live before the boat? I had a flat on Euston Road. Mm. Burned down, unfortunately. Mm. How terrible. So when did you move? Yeah. What date do we have? Uh, tenth. Oh. Yesterday. Yeah. What do you want on? Oh, no smoking on the boat. But the boat's made out of wood, girl. I promise I'll be careful. No. Okay, well, I'll just smoke in the canal. I'll come with you. No need. I like smoking alone. Cool. Cool. you stupid little prick. I told you, only small stuff, nothing large, and now my entire flat is full of your stupid shit. Come pick it up now. 